Hey guys, welcome back to the show. This is Out of Work Outdoors. My name is Connery. We are doing the Fishing Explained series for bass, specifically large bass for this one. The pre-spawn and spawn time frame. So, I'm from Oklahoma. Right now, we're definitely pre-spawn. But the, this covers the spawn too because fish are transitioning, okay, from winter haunts to the spawn. So some come, some go. So these baits will allow you to basically cover the entire pre-spawn spawn, okay? And these are this is stuff that I have this tried and true. I'm not sponsored by nobody, and this is just stuff that I have found in the fa past five years fishing kayak tournaments even fun vision that I can say, look, if I got these baits, I know where to find them, and I know when they're going to bite, look, you could, you could go, you can fish tournaments, you can fish for fun, this is going to work, okay? And this is just not me. This is me, and my brother. You know, a lot of, a lot of uh, angle of your points, things like that, have been accumulated because of this. And so, so this is a lot of the secret stuff that we're handing out. Um, we're also part of the Oklahoma Kayak Anglers, and I'm telling you, this is what I'm going to be using this month in March. I haven't gone out yet. I'm going to be going out maybe this weekend, the next two weekends, on deck right here. Okay, so this is some of my secrets. Okay, so. Pre-spawn, spawn. I kind of mix them together. So depending on which lake you go to, each lake can be in a different stage, you can say. So if you go to this state, this lake and it's too dirty, they might still be in a true winter haunt. If you go to another lake that's super clear, they might already be spawned. So regardless, pick one, okay? And like I said, this is my top five. I'm going to have a lot more than that, but these are my top four. Actually, it should only be top three, but I threw this one in there just in case. I'll explain why. Okay, so in terms of baits, in terms of baits, this is a new bait we've developed. Uh, team member Hybrid Killer has built this for us. It is a major improvement on the traditional Alabama rig or umbrella rig. The big difference is it is clear. The wire frame is clear. So we've been throwing this. If you want one, let us know. We'll, we'll ship you one. I think we're charging like $32 at the point at the moment. With no baits, no hooks on it, of course. But it is something unique. The Alabama rig has been out for a while. I think a lot of the biggest fish have been accustomed to it. Uh, we did very well um, two months that? ago fishing the onlines with this. And we've continued to catch fish with this. Uh, our Bro, buddy, Tuvu just fished the uh, Hobie, uh, the Hobie Bass, Hobie oh. Boss, a broken bow. Half of his fish came on this. His big bass came off of this also. So it is proven by other people as well. It's not just us. Okay, but regardless, it is, an, it is an umbrella rig. It's castable, made of clear fluorocarbon line. We got five swim baits here. We got, a, um, we got an underspin down here. How this works, the way I have it rigged is the top four weedless, not weedless, weightless, and all my weights down here. This is a three quarter ounce. But if I wanted to sink slower, put a half ounce on it. If I want to sink slower than that, put a you know quarter ounce on it. And if I want it real slow, you could probably do this with an eighth ounce and just swim it over grass, things like that. But this can go deep. We fished this down to 30 feet. So this is the winter pre spawn deal okay winter pre-spawn deal okay so for me that's right there it's fairly expensive but it gets the big ones to bite it gets the small ones and the big ones to bite and that's pretty cool next up on the list this is something that i've been i've been preaching about the last two years as soon as i started figuring out how to use this thing the jackhammer chatterbait everybody talks about the red one but yet i've never caught one on the red one for me, it's always cloudy days, chartreuse and white. Chartreuse and white. It doesn't matter how dirty the water is, chartreuse and white. If it's bluebird days, or if it's super, super muddy, black and blue. And I always, always, always throw the half ounce. Keeping it simple. like Just like that. The body is from Z-Man. Uh, it's their swimming fish uh, imitation. But perfect pairing. The uh, body does not 
rip easily. One body can last you a couple of trips, as you can see. You know, save yourself some money. Just go with that. Uh, but yeah, all of these, if you want to know, bought in the video description. We'll have a link where you can buy all these. But this, uh, I can honestly say, this has caught in the past couple of years that we've been fishing the, uh, the, the online tournaments. This, of, of, all, of my five fish that I usually turn in, this usually contributes to at least two of them, okay, during the spawn. And during the spawn, I don't care who you is, okay, I don't care who you is. And I was late to this game, but the Senko, for the people that don't know what a Senko is, the Senko is basically a worm. It's a worm. But how you rig it is very important for the spawn. I'm not I'm not too big on the Texas rig. I like the wacky rig. So I do a a Cinco setup or this was actually a Bass Pro Shops um I forgot what kind of the name of it was, but take your pick. Yum dinger, don't matter, right? Dye the ends blue or, or chartreuse or whatever color you want just to make it look a little bit different. Put two rings on it, the wacky rig ring, put them in an X form, put the hook through the top. Just like that. Get yourself the biggest hook you can find. This is a VMC Nico weedless hook. It's a 2 aught, And we're fishing for fish on beds at this point, right? So this is a spawning deal. Pre-spawn can still work too, but the line here, I'm not going simply. I'm not doing the 8-10 pound. I'm tying 20 pound floral garment on this, and I'm going up to 20 pound braid okay throw it on baycaster or throw it on a spinning outfit it's up to you but that thing works and yeah. the reason why that thing works so good is, is it's just like it was invented for the the spawn uh <clears throat> time to throw it is if you know there's good chance there's a bed over there just throw that first usually as soon as you uh hit the water the bass will just come and they'll just swipe at it i've caught many 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 big fish like that many 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 good quality size fish like that so that's more of a bed fishing bait okay and then i put a popping frog in there also this is my favorite popping frog modified of course uh as you can see this thing started off started its life off as a terminator popping frog i love this frog i've been through spros i've been through all these other baits settled on this one trim the tails down as you can see, I put some uh, permanent marking straps in here, so it breaks up the color of the strands a little bit. And then I change out the hook. This is not the standard hook. This is a Gamagatsu 4 aught EWG frog hook. And you don't have to bend it out. You don't have to do anything fancy with it. You just put it in. The body feels like it was meant for it. And on top of that, the frog now does not sit like this. The frog sits like this in the water. I think it's a big deal. So the fish comes up and he grabs it from the back. Usually grabs it from the back. I have a lot of good footage on this. Uh, last year we released a video where I was fishing one of our local lakes and I caught 100 and 105 inches. One off a of Cinco and the rest of them was off this frog. This exact frog too. So I'll show you that footage now. And uh, believe me, don't believe me. Yeah, frog. And it was also in March too. So crazy, right? The topwater frog. That just if you really want to have a nice fun day out, just want to throw frogs all day, these what the frog does is it eliminates the buck bass. Okay, so all these other ones, the buck bass will more than likely strike the bait before the female can. Female is not as aggressive, so that's that's why. But um, typically, this time of year, fish are not that active. They won't hit a top one yet. But if you throw this out there, the buck bass shies away from it. The female bass has to come and smoke it. It has to take care of business, okay? So that's why the frog is so good. That's a trade secret. Let you guys have that. We're going to be releasing some... Uh... See, this video... This video goes on to the YouTube, and it can be shared everywhere. So we're going to... That's the only secret I'm going to give you on the frog, okay? So I throw the frog at 52 degrees. Heck, I throw it at 50 degrees, okay? And... You're not going to get a lot of bites, but every fish you're going to get bit on is going to be a five pounder or higher. Okay, you're targeting the big female. So these are the, this is one of those baits that during this time of year, if you get bit, it's not a little fish. It's a big one. So you're talking 80 pound braid and your frog set up ready to go. Okay, and what you want to do is cast out there. Just walk it in place. 
Just walk it for the first two, three feet. If you're not there, really back, cast it in the spot. That's what you want to do with this frog this time of year. You're not bringing it all the way back to you. We're targeting spawning fish, okay? So, that's crazy. We're going to do... That's one good, good secret I just let out, okay? If you guys didn't pick that up already. Uh, we're going to probably do a Patreon-only video where we will let more secrets like that out. So... This is very general information, and we're going to let you guys know what to do once you get here and you find fish. Different ways to catch multiple fish, or if you see a fish on bed that will not hit this, that will not hit a Cinco, that will not hit a Chatterbait, but you can still catch them. All fish, they're on bed or catchable. Okay, so let's just say that for now. Where do you want to fish? Okay, so there's a pre-spawn area, and obviously there's a spawning area. For me, I mean, people talk points, they talk all these grass lines and everything. To me, you can narrow it down to a rocky area just right outside of the spawning flat or the spawning pocket. Okay, that's usually the best pre-spawn area. Pre-spawn, umbrella rigs, chatterbaits. Because pre-spawn, to me, they're still fairly deep. They're still in that 15, no, 10, 15 foot zone. So, umbrella rigs you hit it, just let those chatterbaits sink a little bit, and they'll hit that too. So, pretty small, right there. Once they're almost to the bed, the chatterbait in grass, around wood, oh my goodness. This guy gets smoked all the time. Countless 8-pounders, countless 9-pounders on this guy. Okay? Alright. Um, and the spawning flats, or the spawning pocket, is anything, to me, it's anything away from current. So... If you're if you have a creek channel, obviously it's not going to be in the creek channel. But on top of the creek channel, bam, spawning flat. Okay, spawning area. So just look for that. Any pocket that's flat, if it's got grass, kind of protected from the wind. If there's a dock out front, there's something in the back. It's a good idea. You know, check all those areas. Okay, and when you when you get to these areas, you start looking for like, just. It's really weird because from lake to lake, you can see this, okay? So if a lake is all rock, it's all brown rock, you get there. You might just see a little shade, shaded area that's darker or lighter than the surrounding environment. That's a bed, okay? If you, if you can see it, Cinco goes first. Cinco always goes first, okay? But if it's still before sunlight, you might want to fire that popping frog out there first in case there's a female close by. But other than that, these two are almost worthless once they're on the bed, okay? Uh, but, I mean, you could throw that in the uh, in the bed and shake it like a jig. You might still work. The umbrella rig is almost worthless. Uh, okay? Okay, so for pre-spawn, the bite is usually better in the afternoon, okay? Because it warms up. The fish finally pull up. The fish have to pull up. Either they pull up at night or they're pulling up in the afternoon. So... What I mean pull up is pulling up to the beds, okay? So they pull up in af at night or they're pulling up in the afternoon. I don't think they're pulling up during the morning hours. That's why the afternoon bite is typically better. And for the tournament anglers, they can't go out at night. And it's still pretty cold at night. So for the most part, afternoon bite. But if you find them on the beds already, it's game on all day, okay? Because fish behavior at the bed, at the bed spawning time, that's what we're going to be talking about in the Patreon, too. So there might be two videos on Patreon on how to catch bedding fish, secrets of it. Every fish is catchable. So if you get to a spot, you see a fish on bed, and you just throw this, and they're not, they won't bite it. They'll look at it, or they run off. You need to, you need to, you need to watch that video, because we can catch them. We've proved, proven it time and time again, you can catch them. But bedtime bite, that is a video in itself. Basically, you can fish it all day. It starts from the beginning of the morning where you, there's no light out to midday when the sun's directly above and you're staring at the fish. You need some nice glasses. You can see them. This is where nice glasses come into play. Glass lenses over plastic lenses all day, okay? And then, obviously, at night. At night, the night bite, the afternoon bite, there's more fish coming to the beds. So you got to start thinking like that. Just because there's nothing there on that bed does not mean when you come back in three hours, there won't be a, bed, a fish on there. So mentally, it's almost like, uh, take a mental note where all the beds are. Even if the beds are empty, go away, come back, and start firing sinkholes on the way back. 
fire them out. And then you'd be very surprised. A female, a giant bass might not commit to the bed in the morning, but she might commit in the afternoon. Okay, so there's a lot of like strategy that goes along catching fish. Pre-spawn, spawn. Okay, guys? So hopefully that helps you out. So I'm trying to narrow it down. I'm trying to keep your tackle box as light as possible. Four baits only. Got you the areas where you want to look. Because every lake is different, okay? Uh, and how the bites are typically going to set up. Like a morning, the morning bite, A-Rig, Chatterbait, Cinco, Pop Frog. Once the sun comes up, it's mainly just Chatterbait and Umbrella Rig for the pre-spawn. Once they spawn, that's out of the question. Maybe. It's still a good maybe, but then you want to flip this around. You want to throw the Pop and Frog first, and then you want to throw the Cinco, and then maybe you can hit them with a Chatterbait. I don't know. Something like that. All right, guys, so that's my that's my baits, where I'm looking for them, and how I approach the hours of the day, you can say. So if you have any questions, throw them in the comments section. Like I said, all these baits, you can you can click on the link, and I'll, I'll, I'll link them out. Uh, so you can buy them, especially the colors and the hook sizes and everything else like that. But, yeah, that's about it. If you guys see me on the water, uh, come over and say hello. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. And it's going to be all bed fishing. April is bed fishing. I don't care what you say. So we're going to have a lot of top waters. And we're going to have a lot. Well, we're going to have in-depth talk about Chatterbait. Because at that point, the grass is, is going to be up. And we'll talk uh, mainly. There's no more spawning, but there's now post-spawn. So post-spawn, definitely two Chatterbaits type of day definitely a frog in there definitely you know like two top waters that type of stuff so you know so if you guys like that stuff be sure to sub the channel give me a thumbs up and i will see you on the next one all right guys bye